um, Christians are 70% of the population here in the United States. Republicans have continually tried to pass things and have been successful in passing things in certain states that give Christians special rights over everyone else, particularly to discriminate against gay people. So employers can discriminate against hiring gay employees. They can discriminate against customers, housing. Some places they've even tried shoving forth that uh, hospitals should be able to discriminate. Insurance companies should be able to discriminate. And this shit they keep trying to push forth. And yet as a gay man, I'm supposed to worry about, I'm supposed to worry about Islam? Really? Muslims are 0.9% of the population. Oh, but Sharia law is coming. It's creeping Sharia, creeping Sharia. Shut the fuck up with that shit. That is as stupid, stupid as the Christians screaming, oh, the gays are going to take over the, the, the country. The gays are taking over the country. Stupid shit. Paranoid, delusional shit. Oh, well, they're, they're going to use terrorism to, to gain power. No, they're not going to get power. We're not going to give them that power. Who's giving them that power? What, because they, 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 they committed, some people committed acts of terrorism, we're going to just let Muslims do whatever they want? We're going to give Muslims the power in the government? No, that's not going to happen. What we have to worry about are the Republicans pushing forth Christianity into, into the government. That's the shit we have to worry about. I, I can't believe how much, how much of this, this fucking paranoia lunacy is still going on. Well, 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 in, in Europe, they have, in Europe, whatever the fuck, what the fuck ever. I have, I'm not speaking about Europe. I'm speaking about the United States. And those of you pushing forth this creeping Sharia, they're going to take over the government. Oh, no, Islam. It's, it's, just fucking step back and look at the situation for what it actually is. And not from the perspective of uh, Christian propaganda websites. Okay, I asked in one of my last videos, you know, can you show me some sources that talk about th this, these extreme views about what Islam is going to do to this country uh, that aren't from Christian propaganda sources? And I got told a few things, but then when you look into where they got their information, it's from the Christian propaganda web uh, sources again. It all leads back to the fucking Christian propaganda shit. I mean, what's next? Are you going to start to complain about the new green Starbucks cups? Oh, well, they're being liberal pussies. They're not saying Merry Christmas. I mean, what's next? You know, every time that there is an abortion clinic bombing, should we say that it's Christian terrorism? Some people might think that. Okay, people are trying to be careful not to shove forth that all Muslims are, are terrorists where all Muslims have these beliefs that they want Sharia law put in, Sharia put into our laws. Most of the people that come here, most of the Muslims that come here, want to live the life that we have here. Okay, that's, that's just a fact. This paranoia is over the top. We would have to, we would have to have a hundred million Muslims come into this country for there to even be, to be a third, actually, of of the country enough to uh, shove forth Isla Islam into our laws. A hundred million Muslims would have to just come in here instantly. And guess what? A hundred million Muslims is quite literally half of the entire Middle East. You think that sort of thing's going to happen? I mean, Christians have only been so successful in, in trying to implement their, uh, their beliefs into law. There have been those few states that have shoved forth this those religious freedom uh, laws, right? And that's the most they've been able to really do. And we still have to worry. We still have to be vigilant against that stuff. But you think people that are 0.9% of the country are going to, to just push things into law? They're gonna, we're going to bend over backwards for them? I don't think so. It is as crazy as the Christians claiming that 
gay people are taking over the country. Just as fucking crazy. Just as insane. And the way that people are picking and choosing what things to uh, believe out of the out of this Christian propaganda is not really much different than Christians picking and choosing what they will believe out of the book of Leviticus. It's very similar. Is radical Islam messed up? Yeah. Yeah. But most of the Muslims that are coming here are not radical Muslims. It's not radical Islam. It's people wanting to come here to live their lives as decent as they can. And this idea that we should make the Muslims coming into this country the number one priority for us to focus on, what's wrong with you? Well, why don't we, uh, let's have the government uh, put a bunch of money into uh, cars that uh, don't have the right kind of braking systems or something, right? Let's just pour all this money into the braking systems of older cars, specific models. Let's just focus on that because, you know, that, that kills a certain percentage of people. So let's, uh, let's put all this money into that, all of our focus into that. Sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? Well, it's just as stupid as this whole thing. Let's put all of our focus on the goddamn, on, on the, the Islamic terrorism. Well, you need to say the name or it's not valid. What the fuck is wrong with you? It's just as stupid as you need to say Merry Christmas. You didn't say Merry Christmas. Oh, boo fucking who? They didn't say Islamic terrorism. Boo fucking who? And then some of you will say something like, well, you know, Obama hasn't done very much about <coughs> terrorism. <laughs> And uh, I, I, I implore you to just type in the phrase, what has Obama done about terrorism? Just type it in. Type it into Google, and you'll get tons and tons of, of articles. And the only articles that claim that he hasn't done very much, even though the, all of the evidence is there of, as, as what he's done, which is a lot, um, the only articles that will say otherwise are the ones that will never, ever, ever, ever state anything negative about Christianity. Hmm. You know, some of you will go, well, you know, the, the, the sources, most of the ones that are, that are showing up, they're from these liberal sites. So the only sources you accept are ones that are Christian propaganda websites. Is is that the case? You know, the, the sites that will never, ever, 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 ever state anything negative about Christianity? Those? Oh. Oh, okay. The information is there. The statistics are there. The numbers are there. But, you know, statistics are only valid when right-wingers say it, and if when right-wingers bring them up when right-wingers come to some sort of conclusion based off of statistics, and left-wingers are always wrong when they bring up statistics and facts because, you know, Christian propaganda is much better, right? This is stupid. Stupid. And there are a number of people who I have normally have a lot of respect for, but on this subject, I don't have any respect for them because you're, you're promoting Christian propaganda. Fundamentalist religious propaganda no fucking different than what you see on CBN we're, we're supposed to listen to that shit well you know sometimes uh, these different people can say something that that's valid fine show me other sources and if those sources lead back to the uh, to the Christian propaganda sources you throw it away period you throw it away it's done well, well, I really, really want to believe this because I really, really want an enemy that I can that I can th ex spout expletives at. Well, you know, tough. How about spouting it at the right wing, who really does want to implement uh, their religion into law? How about that? How about speaking against the Republicans? Oh, well, that's that's so four years ago, right? Oh, that's just so four years ago. Islam and feminism are the are the real enemies, right? You know, it seemed like we had come so far. And then it's like we just kind of gave up. And, uh, you know, once things became a little too uncomfortable because we're questioning our traditions, you know, well, now we need to start speaking against those who speak against our traditions. It's like, 
it's like the community suddenly became a bunch of traditionalists. And, you know, it's, it's all okay. You know, everything's great as long as you're speaking against feminism and SJWs and Islam. As long as you're speaking against those things, uh, it doesn't matter what the rest of the message is. It doesn't matter what the sources of the information is. As long as you're speaking against feminism and, and SJWs and Islam, it, it's, you know, it's all good. You can, you can align with, with uh, Christian propaganda, and it's cool because, you know, you're speaking against SJWs and feminists. I mean, this would be akin to the gay community supporting NAMBLA. Well, it's gay, so, you know, uh, any support is good support. Doesn't matter what they stand for, you know. They they stand for these. They're they're anti SJW and they're and they're anti uh, feminists and they're anti Islam. So great, great. It's okay that that the you know the sources for information are all from Christian propaganda websites. That's okay. Because Christians are cool because they're not Muslims doesn't matter how peaceful the most of the Muslims are that, that are here, the 0.9% of our population, if the small bit of atheists and, free th and supposed free thinkers, supposed free thinkers and skeptics were doing this shit 15 years ago, gay rights would, would not have progressed. We would not have had gay marriage by now. There are so many things that we've progressed in the past 15 years that we would not have now if the group of people that is supposed to be uh, looking at science and trying to make the world a better place, who are supposedly egalitarians, if they would have had this common mindset that's going on right now, where it's, well, as long as we're speaking against the extremes on the left, everything's good. Who cares about the extremes on the right? That doesn't matter anymore. The left is the only thing that matters. To, to the point where you're aligning with and using sources that are against anything that tries to dismantle our traditional values. Yeah, I mean, it's why it seems so absurd that so many of you would get upset when people will bring up slavery and how there has been a continued mindset that, you know, left over. That was the same reason why it took so long to end slavery in the first place. Um, there is a certain mindset that seems to be left from that period. Oh, why do you keep bringing up the past? Why do you keep bringing up the past? Well, why do you keep defending the past that's my question why do you, why do we keep defending that we're defending uh the traditional uh ways that we we've been doing things we're you're defending that well well, well no i'm not really when people do bring up slavery and just try to get us to look at the past and how awful we were then when i say we and I guess that'll upset people too, because it's the pa the history of this country. But if I say we, then it, anyway, that upsets people too. Sometimes it's just like, really, man, you sure you sure get your your my feelings, and yet you complain about the left's feelings, right? People will mention how terrible people were when slavery was considered okay and instead of just saying yeah they that was fucked up people were really fucked up then it's uh let's list all of the reasons why slavery was uh the case um and uh well it's just, it's not just this country that did it and we we bought it from other people and it's just listing all the reasons for it then when you try to talk about the mindset that was responsible for not letting slavery end, well, you know, that's just the way people thought back then. 
you can't even you can't even make the simple declaration that, that it was fucked up and you can't look at the possibility that uh, some of the ways that we looked at things then when we were when the government when this government was being created might be a little bit skewed you don't want to look at the constitution as a living document that's supposed to be updated for the way that times change no and it's this solid thing and you like have this worship of the fucking constitution there's a lot of people out there a lot of libertarians like to fucking worship the constitution Let's worship it must be the way that it was then really look at all the awful things that were done in the name of some of that mindset back then oh no but we, we can't question that see that's questioning tradition can't even question it in the past because well that's the way people lived back then it's this never-ending loop you know always some sort of excuse look at the vitriol that trans people get now I may not understand uh, non-binary uh, uh, genders. I may not really understand it fully. I can understand that people feel the way that they do in contrast to what society says they're supposed to be. I can understand, you know, struggling with that. But I think the way it's going about it is kind of weird. But society changes, you know. There are lots of things that we wouldn't have now if we wouldn't, wouldn't have eventually opened up as a society. And with a lot of those things that we finally did open up to, originally, we were very uncomfortable with the ideas. Very, very uncomfortable. We kind of have to live with a bit of that uncomfortable element if we're to be able to progress. And so, just at every turn, when there is something that people are shoving forth from the left that makes us question our traditions, it just seems like pro-tradition, anti-the -dis dismantling of traditions. Let's not do any of that. Because we can solve all of our, all of our problems by saying the word egalitarian over and over again. Or something. I'm an egalitarian. Uh, uh, Muslims should die. But not all Muslims. But all of them, but not actually all of them. I'm an egalitarian. We should uh, block people from coming into this country because they have a religion I don't like. I'm an egalitarian. I don't want to talk about even the, the small percentage of that uh, the wage gap actually is. I don't even want to talk about that. I'm just going to call it a, uh, a myth. The whole thing is a myth. But I'm a free-thinking, atheist, skeptic, egalitarian who believes in keeping our traditions. And I'm against religion unless it's Christianity and then it's okay. Because, you know, Islamic terrorism. 9-11. 9-11. Did I mention 9-11? I'm an egalitarian. 9-11. A Muslim should die. I'm an egalitarian. But not all Muslims. But all Muslims. But not all of them. You know what I mean. No, you know exactly what I mean. All Muslims, but not all Muslims. It's simple. Stop being a, a liberal pussy. All Muslims, but not all Muslims. Stop being obtuse. You didn't say Merry Christmas. It's a needed war against Islam. Stop saying it's anything else. Islam needs to be destroyed, and you're a stupid liberal pussy unless you think the same thing. The government loves terrorists, and they're coming to take away your guns and your right to bully people online for speaking against traditions in ways that you don't like. They, they want to target YouTube because, you know, 9-11, because Muslims, because cabbage, 